been to, not you of all people. Give me one reason why I shouldn't arrest you now. I have never done anything like this before. And that makes it okay to make me a fool. I didn't mean to, Pete. You're scaring me. I trusted you! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, forget it, forget it. Here. Here's your crime number. Good luck with your insurance. you're playing at. You're lucky that woman doesn't want to make a complaint. She had me. Hook, line and sinker. Another one. What kind of copper does that make me? Oh, stop trying to prove yourself, Brandon. You shouldn't have even have come in today. You should be at home with your kids. How can I? I can't even look them in the face. You know where the hostel is, don't you? Thanks. Well, I've got a bed of mine. Well, part of your bail conditions is that you stay there, you know, before your court appearance tomorrow. Look, those places are full of drug addicts. They're more dangerous than the streets. The man won't you accept any help? I tried. What's on offer? Some pokey wee bed set in the back beyond. If the depression doesn't get you, loneliness will. Well, you deserve better than this, mate. Tell the MOD, they're still sending boys your age around the world to fight somebody else's war with guns that don't work and boots that don't fit. Even asking to put out other people's fires when they get back. They don't question it, they just do it. That's loyalty. Well, what about your bail conditions? I've never missed a court appearance yet. I'll be there. You've got my word. I mean, that stuff counts for something. You risked your life in that boiler room. As far as Zoe and Jordan are concerned, you're a hero. For what? I let Kathy get near them in the first place. They didn't lose their mother because of her. They lost her because of me. Don't do this to yourself, Brandon. Yeah. I'm the one who told Cathy that my ex-wife was going to go off to Scotland with the kids. And then Cathy made the decision to kill Tanya. It was out of your hands. How did I get involved with all this? Stop it now, Brandon. Or this is going to eat you up. Now, the main thing is, you've still got your kids. And they love you so much. They really need you right now. You're right. I'm always right. What would I do without you, eh? My mate's fault. I just think you've got other priorities right now. <sighs> Two of them, to be precise. Yeah. Let's get out of here. No, next. That's him. The guy with the nose. He had a scar on his nose. I want him charged. Well, I appreciate that, mate, but we've got to find him first. His ex-army lives on the streets. I don't pay my taxes to have you standing around making excuses why you can't apprehend someone. I want that scum banged up. He's all scum. The man beat me up and nicked my watch. It makes him scum in my book. It's people like him that keep this country free. Anyway, why don't we... Um... Well, it comes to something when the police side with the criminal. I thought you were supposed to protect decent people. Do you mean you and the decent Mark Bechter? What's he got to do with it? Well, if the decent Mark Bechter has stepped in to help you, he may have had a better description to go on. Tell you, don't. He saw my assault and walked. I can't comment on that. Anyway, Mr. Greaves, um, as you watch. Follow me. Um, excuse me. Yeah, uh, my name's Mrs. Fox. Um, I believe that PC Carver deals with race crimes. Yeah. Okay. One hoodie totally blood spatters on it. 
I think that's the final nail in Keith Sampson's coffin, don't you? We found it in the search of the alley. You better go and pick him up then. What is your problem exactly? I know you don't agree with what I did, but get over it. Mark Betzer wanted to remain anonymous. That's his right. Yeah, well, him and Greaves are both as bad as each other, if you ask me. I don't get it. You work with rapists and nonces and stuff, and you don't even bat an eyelid. I will not be treated like a whipping boy by some prat who thinks money can buy him anything. I can have you down as a working class hero. Oh, give me a break. We're both from the same side of the fence here. Yeah, but it's all right for you, though, isn't it? You're already a DC. How many shots do you think I'm going to get at this? Oh, I see. It's I'm all right, Jack, is it? Oh, well, yeah. What is going on in here? It's just a difference of opinion, sir. Man, the Department of Professional Standards are here. Do I have to be responsible for everybody's behaviour? Sir, man. Sun Hill, CID. I'll be right there. Where are you going? Out. Liam's out with a client at the moment. Ever since you told him I saw the fight, he's been trying to get me the sack. How did Liam get hold of this? A bit of Friday night hijinks about a month ago, a few beers and so on. Only Liam prefers his cocaine. He gets a bit leery. Making millions for clients every week can be quite potent. In other words, he thinks he's God. Well, we stopped to buy cigarettes at an off-license. This tramp's ahead of us in the queue, counting out change to buy a four-pack. It takes forever. What, Liam lost his rug? They had words. Liam wouldn't let it drop when we got outside. Reckoned that the tramp begging for cash was just another tax. He wanted a rebate. So we beat him up? All for 96 pence. Then he found the medal. What time's Liam getting back? He could be gone for the rest of the day. Right, I need a warrant. I'll be back in an hour. Mrs. Fox. It was the only way that I could guarantee that you'd see me. Murray, your bail conditions. I know I'm not meant to have contact with you, but I got a letter from CPS this morning. Me too. Look, I wanted to show you this. AA meetings. 90 meetings, 90 days. My sponsor, God, she's so great. Her name's Sheila. Uh, you've got to keep that to yourself. It's confidential. I'm trying here. I am really trying. Do we really have to go through all this? Don't try to manipulate me, Marie. I'm not going to take it. You're not even supposed to talk to me. Perhaps if you told me what you're looking for, I can help. The medal, Mr. Greaves. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. The Billingworth portfolio. Meeting started five minutes ago. Thank you, Mark. Oh, I get it. Well done. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, what, you as well? Yeah. Nice watch, by the way. You're right. Not really. Turns out you were right. Those city blokes deserve shooting. What do you mean? Mark Betzer set me up. Said Liam Greaves wanted revenge on him for turning his back when he got beaten up, so he tries to get him sacked. Well, in return, Mark Betzer decided to try and snitch on Greaves about the mugging of a tramp. You mean he beat up Taffy? So basically all Keith Sansa was doing was sticking up for his mate. Greaves had the medal in his drawer. Only when I get back with a warrant, it's gone. And suddenly Mark Betzer's back on the team wearing Greaves' four grand watch. He's used you to cut a deal with Greaves, isn't he? Yeah, well... He still wants Samson charged with assault. That's mad, isn't it? The world pays out to blokes like them and dunks on the likes of Saunders and Samson. When did it all get messed up, eh? You noticed it too. What are you doing? Having a bit of a tidy. Right, let's go and pick up the poor unfortunate Samson, shall we? Well, we could. File a report saying that he's moved out of the area. Come. Sir. Good man. I can add your statement to my report for the borough commander. 
Good. Thank you for coming in today. While you're here, I wanted to talk to you about the statement you gave for the night of Tanya's murder. Jack tells me you've admitted it was false. Kathy forced your hand. Yes, sir. MIT will want a full story, and you might face a discipline. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure that it doesn't affect your standing here. Thank you, sir, but uh, it's not quite as simple as that. What's this? It's my resignation. I thought this job was about protecting the good from the bad, but how can you do that when you don't know where the line is anymore? You know, there's no black and white. We try to make sense of the grey. Well, Zoe and Jordan need to be with their dad, especially now. And you know what, sir? I need to be with them. They remind me that I'm doing a good job bringing them up knowing right from wrong. Take some time out. Have as much sick leave as you need. And then what? Come back and bang my head against a brick wall? No. The only people worth protecting are my family. Please. Reconsider. I need to get home to my kids. Now, you can strike Keith Sampson off your most wanted list because we picked him up for D&D. &D. Well, I thought you'd be pleased. What the hell you to me now, Jim Carver? Oi! Get yourself out of here right now! You're due to appear at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And what about bail? He's liable to abscond, so he stays in custody until his court appearance. Number two, please. Oh, somebody's all that is. Oh, we'll win some, lose some. Well, what's the point in doing your best if your best isn't good enough? I've got to go somewhere. I'll see you later. Well, I'll be back. Don't worry. Terry. Please let me go, please. Excuse me. Do you know somebody called Keith in Can you help me, please? I didn't mean to do it. There must be some mistake. Liam was the one who had his watch stolen. Our intelligence suggests that Liam's attacker was simply trying to reclaim a medal stolen from a comrade. The same medal that was shown to one of my colleagues by Mark Vector. Now, hang on. Liam is a good man. He works hard. Play hard too, does he? It's a high-pressure job. The team needs to let off steam. Does that include taking Class A drugs? We found him in possession of half a gram of cocaine. Obviously, any employee found with drugs will be dealt with severely. Oh, I don't doubt that. Devon and LaRocque have got a pretty impressive reputation. You wouldn't want to dent that with a team of police, for instance, engaged in a fingertip search of your premises. No, no. Maybe that's something you'd like to deal with internally, so to speak. Will that be all, DC Perkins? The medal we're looking for seems to have disappeared. Give me a bell if it turns up, will you? Can I get your attention? You've abandoned me. How do you think this is going to look when the courts learn that you've been arrested yet again? Think of Ben. Don't hide behind my son. We all know why you're really doing this. Because you loved making my life a misery. Gives you a sense of power. I am doing this for you. To try to make you see that you are destroying yourself.